guys how you guys doing so ciao <laughs> i'm trying to sober up for you i know i said that i'm trying to sober up a little bit so this is another chit chat video um in this video i'm going to be doing my hair i'm going to be putting set my hair i should say in flat twists i haven't done flat twists in a, in a while and my hair is blown out even though it's been in an updo it's been in this updo this is the second week so i need to do something else right but it's cute y'all i'm serving you um 1950s factory worker yeah that's what we're doing i don't know where we're working at but it's a factory for sure so let's go ahead and get this together y'all your nephew jabessa jb wavy so jb has hair and i cut his hair every now and then because i'm like we both can't have all this hair now this, <laughs> this is too much like i'm making money off my channel but you 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 can't have hair too but i cut his hair once and it was so traumatic you guys like that child i think he was like how old was he he was like nine years old and when I tell you he was upset and just seeing his reaction, I'm like, OK, I would never do this again. I I, I'm, I would not. It's hair. He loves hair. And so I'm like, I'm, I'm not going to do this to my child. That's better. Sorry, y'all. Um, Girl, what's the point? Why is my child using up all my products and my good products and a lot? So this is a new bottle. Why, Vivian? Because Jamie used up all of my Afogee protein. He used up my Afogee. He used up my Afogee um, green tea. He used up... This is new. He used up all of this. He used up all my cream of nature pump. I mean, and he's using a lot of product. And I tell him, JB, you don't have to use a lot. So, yeah, y'all. Um, I bought those products. I bought, like I said, a cream of nature no, not cream of nature. There's a lot of body. And I just let him know that, hey, you don't need to use a lot of product. I have three times as much hair as you do. Child, he was fit to be tired when I said that. And speaking of JB, I'm the reason one of the reasons why I'm tired, y'all know I if you've been following me for a while in my chit chats, I am very involved at his school. And so when it comes to anything to do with school related, looking for volunteers. Just anything you we need this for the room. I'm on it. I because I appreciate educators so much. So I'm always on it. Okay. So today I um, decided to volunteer. They do what's called a classroom transformation about four times out of the year, basically every quarter. And um, this is where they transfer the room into like something that's imagination. And so I decided to volunteer. But because I knew that um, JB would be there for a while and his teacher, she has a couple of kids there. I figured, let me go ahead and pick them up some lunch too on the way. So I bought the baby some lunch. Um, but then I thought about the other kids from his class that may be in aftercare. So I went ahead and bought like quite a bit. And I took those kids to another room. I said, okay, you know, you guys can, this is what you can have. This is your basically your dinner why me and your mama in this room working but tell me why his teacher has three kids sorry y'all I, I need to look over here i've been looking over here i'm so sorry his teacher has three children and they all go to the school right and so one of the babies came to me and she was like can my friend luca join us and i'm looking at her like um I'm thinking in my head. I'm thinking this. This is not a party. I said, "Oh yeah, baby, that's okay." He, he, you know, she, you know, she can join. I'm thinking it's a girl. She can. Child, Luca's a little little Hispanic boy. He's so cute. He showed up. She's like, "Okay." She, she didn't even say anything to me. She said, "Luca." I was like, "Oh hell!" I said, "Okay." So when I went to his, to see his teacher, I said, "Your middle child is a little bossy, baby." She she rolled her eyes. She said, "Bossy." is the least of it she said yes she she's a handful i said oh i could tell it is so i you know y'all know i love babies but um that's why i'm tired okay i need to really 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 get my emotions in check because especially this mother mother's day i don't know what it was um i was very sympathetic towards the women or not even women the people that have lost their mothers this year um 
and I, I know of several people that have lost their mother within a year and then we had a family friend to pass away um, stomach cancer unexpectedly two days before Mother's Day so I was thinking about her family and I was a little sad y'all I was a little I, I my mom's alive and well and I just get so tore up from these people who don't have their mother still. And so I did reach out to like a coworker of mine um, and another girl I know, woman, excuse me, I know who, whose mother passed away. Yeah, about that teacher who was had those little girls, you know, doing his hair. So apparently he was suspended. He wasn't fired, at least from when I'm recording this, he was just suspended. But me going back onto his Facebook, excuse me, his um, TikTok account, I still stand by what I say, said in my video. The whole thing was very unprofessional. Um, and this is his thing. He's like, I want to be that, that I want to, this is not verbatim, but this is what he said. Um, I want to be that cool teacher that they can come to me, you know, you know, they, they, I want to have this relationship with them. Um, there was another video where the girls were painting his nails. And my thing is, is that you don't need to get that close and physical to have a relationship, especially in a power dynamic as a teacher and a student. Um, and he just child i saw the paintings of the nail and the fact that he's not necessarily using the ch children but he's like you know they're my besties you know some of them are my best friends they so he views he views them as his peers they are not your best friends you are an adult anyway i'm not going to spend too much time on that because it's already a video about that so moving on moving on um, yeah, still watching True Crime, trying to be careful how much I watch of it, though, child, because you never know. Um, nothing much else going on with that. Y'all, still, Peach, I'm pretty sure, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's because a recommendation came up for Peach, and it's still there. Still getting comments and stuff about her. There was another young woman that came up, um... And it was basically like poor in Chicago. Um, <clears throat> she's a plus size diva. And she this particular video, she was basically seeing how her car was repossessed. She's looking for a job. And yeah, she's struggling. You know, and my heart goes out to her. Um, but her, her videos, I will say, still has the same type of flow that Peach started off with. Other stuff, like I said, yeah, true crime, trying to watch how much I'll do with that. But yeah, child, Peach, still, yeah. But anyway, enough of her. Another thing I saw was <clears throat> another young woman went viral, dropped her children off with CPS. And so I'm thinking, oh my goodness, like, what is going on to where, you know she had to resort to this so i first saw the video through carlos king there are several videos actually i'm gonna have her name below and the titles down here there's several videos by her and again she's coming from tiktok <clears throat> so overall what's going on is this young woman i think she's like in her mid-20s no more than 28 okay she's basically has been a mom she started off as a teenage mom and she has five children, ages ranges from, I think, um, three to 11, a set of twins in between that. And so she basically was just venting during the majority of these videos, basically saying how she has no support system. The fathers ain't shit. <clears throat> she has no support from her family because she doesn't really speak with her family well, for whatever reason she doesn't have the support okay from the families from the fathers and so she was literally like thinking okay i'm gonna go ahead and drop these kids off at the fire department so she's even i think i believe don't 
balk me on this. I believe she even called the fire de a fire department, excuse me, a fire station, not department, a fire station. It was like, can I drop my kids off there? And so she goes on to say how, you know, it's difficult. It's hard. She's tired of, you know, doing all of this. And for what? You know, she's trying to make it. She's trying to go to school. She's working multiple jobs. She's having issues with her car. Um, her sister, you know, she had to go somewhere, I think for an interview or something. Don't quote me on this. She has somewhere to go, basically. And her sister basically was like, well, I got my own kids. I can't keep all these kids. Um, and so now she doesn't have that support. And she's like, well, then she's like, well, I can't, you know, what am I to do? It's one of the fathers, and I guess one of the babies, this is sad, y'all. She said that the child had been in a soiled diaper. It had been three hours since she was able to change the child. Well, no, let me back that up. It was three hours since the last diaper. She had since taken the dirty diaper off, and I guess the child was like free willy, like going around with no diaper. Probably had clothes on, but again, no diaper. So she's reaching out to this particular child's father and was like, hey, can you, what, you know, I need diapers, I need wipes. Is there any way you can stop by and pick up some for the, for your child? He tells her at the time, hey, I'm shopping for my other kids because he has two other children. I'm at Target. But yeah, I can, you know, I can do that. I guess some time go by and it's not happening. Girl, long story short, he basically says, hey, I can't do it. I told you I was out and I'm not able to do it. So she's saying, you know, this is an example. Like, I'm asking him for diapers and wipes. And he's saying that, hey, you know, I, I, I'm I going to do it. But actually, no, I can't do it. She then, y'all, she then goes on to say how she's just done. She's tired. She wish she can go out and do this. She wish, but she can't do all of that. Um, and But, you know, she loves her babies. And she let them know that... She will come back and get them. But at this point, she can't do it anymore. And she doesn't want to do it anymore. Uh, I think even one part, she said that I don't even know if I can really drop them off at the fire station. I don't know if I, if I would get in trouble for doing that. But I don't care. Because I'm just tired. So she ends up contacting Child Protective Services. And handing over her children. Five children, three to 11 years old. She says they, they are okay. They, I shouldn't say okay. She said, I, I let them know that I will come back and get them, even if it's a few months, you know, a few weeks. But right now, I, I can't do it. Y'all, first of all, I will say my heart breaks for this young woman because it, it, it's, it's a lot. Being a single parent is not for the weak of the heart. I've been a single parent for a hot minute. Six months while my child was at that. He was three years old. Jamie was three years old. And I was by myself. My husband and I had broken up. We were done. I was I was done. I was like, this is it. So it's very difficult. I tell you, it's difficult. And I have the financial support. But just with the one child, it, it was draining, okay? Um, this is why it is so crucial, young women, it is so crucial that you really think about bringing another life into this world and the person you decided to do it with. As women, we are naturally very emotional. We, we, some of us believe anything that a man would say, tell us. He may say, I love you. Yes, we go ahead. I'll help you with that. Another thing, you know, I'm hearing her saying, you know, she's she is um, trying to go to school. She's trying to do all of this. This is another thing. It's why it's so important. I get things happen, you know, but once you have children, self takes a back seat. Not in, not in the terms of you. You're not taking baths, uh, you know, on a consistent basis. You're not eating. But meaning that, hey, you may not get the job that you want. You may have to do a job that you may not necessarily like. Um, you may not be able to go out all the time like you used to. There are some things that you have to make a sacrifice. I just feel like the real victims of this situation are the children. 
especially at such a young three years old correct me if I'm wrong I highly doubt if one family would be able to take five all five yes that would be ideal but here's my thing too about it at first I was like oh my god how what's going on now she's doing interviews she's talking to people she has time to do interviews to tell her story and it's the way that she came across you guys it came across very selfish she felt a cer certain type of way because the men were able to do or they're able to do whatever they want and she's the one that's having to deal with the consequences and struggle the, again this is why you have to be very mindful who you decide to have children this is why look everyone everyone that you sleep with needs to be in your head a potential baby daddy if you look at it like that all right, you guys, I am back. And let me tell you something real quick. I take back everything I said about this young woman. She is utter trash. I'm sympathetic towards this situation, but the way she's going about it is just absolutely disrespectful. All you have to do is go on Facebook, type in Amora Lex. You can see the shit storm yourself. First off, from, from my, what I understand, excuse me, she had her kids taken away before because one of the last baby fathers' name is Alex, his mother actually accused her of killing her son, poisoning him. There was another video apparently of the 11 year old stating how the mom actually poisoned, he saw the mom, this is a child speaking, poisoned his father. Or I don't know if that's his father, but poisoned this particular baby daddy. Amora Lex then goes on the baby daddy's mom page and just clowning her. I'm going to read some of what she said to show you how disrespectful this girl is. 2018 I don't live there no more your son has been dead for four years I can assure you I've been moved on with different men and kids this old bitch still crying poor woman I told your ugly ass before you was gonna hate me for real with all that foul shit that, that's not I'm gonna say just utter disrespectful right not only that but anything that has to deal with this particular baby daddy about him being dead she's laughing at the uh, laughing emojis responding just thinks it's funny you think it's funny that your child's father died was basically is dead that's that's not cool at all at the end of the day it's not cool no matter what what when what you guys went through is not cool there's another video circulating to where i guess she was pregnant at the time the father is in the video again the one that passed away has since passed away they're going at it they're having an argument she's saying you can have this baby i don't i don't give a f i don't care you can have this baby now alexis excuse me amara is on this tour she's going around she's letting people know i'm gonna get all these likes this is what's gonna happen you know make sure you tune in so now she has all this time to do all these interviews get her numbers up apparently Again, it's just giving me, it's all about me because I don't have the kids, thank God. I don't think she's going to try to get those kids back, y'all. I really don't. Now that I see her true colors, I don't think she's going to try to get those kids back. And I feel so bad for these children. Okay. Anyway, y'all, that's what I was seeing on social media. Girl, what I'm watching on TV, Hulu, Amazon Prime. Y'all, a part of me wants to start watching The Shy. Is that what you, how you pronounce it? But I don't know, y'all. I'm not sure if I want to watch it. I'm really not. But I keep seeing all the ads and stuff. That's what's making me want to watch it. Maybe I need to contact whoever keeps sending me all these ads and tell them to stop. <laughs> okay, so fall out. I am here for it. I am now on episode five. Y'all, I was so into it that I actually downloaded the game on Amazon on my sorry on my um phone I actually saw the game once before I downloaded it again like today child I had everything there I was happy I had the little blood and white guy I said like, okay they were like you gotta get your dwellers your dwellers gotta be you know gotta be happy and then you gotta make sure that stuff I said oh this is too much this is this <laughs> I, I gotta make sure that my spaghetti is done. This is just too much. I ain't gonna go ahead and delete that game. But back to the series. Very, very good. Y'all, my hair is shedding. It has like a dark humor to it. I'm gonna say this. One thing I do appreciate, there's not a lot of hard language. Y'all, I curse. I do. But I do appreciate a series that's not dropping F-bombs and stuff like that. I, I like that. I now appreciate that. It means I can like watch it around jb y'all hold on 
All right, y'all. Sorry, I have to pause because Jamie's making all this noise, y'all. Anyway, so Fallout, the actual series. Like I said, I do appreciate that they're not cursing and doing all that, but y'all, they're doing everything else. <laughs> very, very graphic in that sense. So, um, the the ghoul, the gall, the ghoul, y'all probably can't pronounce it. So, again, spoiler alert. Absolutely, he's my favorite character. It really, he really is. And so, y'all, I couldn't. Get it? I'm like, okay, are these zombies? What's going on? So, basically, a ghoul, a person turns into a ghoul. I know I'm not pronouncing it right. Because due to um, exposure to the radiation. And so, this particular one, though, is able to... Um, so, it's a process. Let me say that. It's a process that they, that they go through. And, unfortunately, they were basically fully turn into like a zombie so but this particular one has been taking some type of medication or something because i saw him or i've been seeing him in a couple of episodes to where he's inhaling this amber colored and from an inhaler and i'm like oh so you you want you you got a bitter all so a bitter all will help you not turn into a zombie okay because i got a lot of that i need to be stocking up on that right so yeah, no, I'm silly. So I'm thinking, okay, a bitter all will help you not turn into a zombie. So that's what he's taking, right? And so, y'all, it's all over the place. I'm a little confused. I may have to stop it and rewatch it because there's two, there's a lot of storylines going on, and I'm a little confused, but it's okay. But y'all, it's getting a little weird, but it'll be okay as I keep watching it. Um, what else I'm watching? I started back watching. American Horror Story Asylum. I absolutely love this particular season. And so I started watching it again because everybody's crazy. Um, what else? What else? I rewatched a movie. I know I'm going to butcher this name too. Sicario with the guy from um, John. What is his name, y'all? He basically was a teenager in the Goonies. He was an older brother. <laughs> Josh. And Benicio Del Toro. Y'all, that man is so fine to me. He has not aged well like a lot of A-list actors like that. But he is extremely attractive. He has an accent. He has those deep eyes. Yes, he was absolutely beautiful in his, his 20s and 30s. But he's still fine. I'm still working on my hair. I need to make these twists a little bit little smaller, excuse me, but we ain't got time for that. We ain't got time for that. But y'all, that is it. My allergies are out of control. I probably need like a third glass of wine. Probably don't. Uh, but that is it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching and thank you as always to all of my new subscribers. Take care. Bye.